Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel to another episode of look what the postman brought me and this time I got quite a lot of stuff uh, a little bit here a little bit there so let's just start with uh, what my friend Martin brought me today um, we did a swap for car versus car about there and I bought some stuff from him and okay the first thing I bought is these Titan 550 motors. I'm going to use those in my. Well, this is going to be a twin detonator or a wild dagger or whatever chassis with dual motors. So I'm going to use those in there. Um, I also got the parts I need to convert it. Uh, Another thing I got today from Martin is the car I swapped for, and it's this one. I found this car to be pretty cool, so I just had to have it. And yeah, but what I don't understand is this. I'm wondering should the tires have more like camber so they go on the inside but they can't have because it's a uh, fixed Y width so why did they make the car like this I really wonder but I think I can do something about it but we'll see so I got that one will be an upcoming running video that with that one uh, another thing I got today which I actually opened was Ein Freues Fest so this was is some decals for my uh, Dynastorm uh, mid motor or mid motor Dynastorm so these are the decals yeah so that's gonna be awesome moving on to the next one a package from uh, UK. UK let's have a look and it's a 23 spur gear hopefully this one will fit for my fit my uh, TRF car yes so that one fits so, oh, two more packages. This one is from Taiwan. And this one is from, is it Austria? So let's start with this one. It's uh, like there's rubber socket for uh, for the shocks. Hopefully these ones will fit for my 801 XT. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Then this one from Austria. This one is very special and I think you're gonna like it. Okay, 
carbon chassis. Some more parts. I'll lay them out and show you. But this is a basic kit for turning a Dynastorm into a mid-engine. And um, so this will be an upcoming project on my channel. I'm really looking forward to this one and I think it's gonna be awesome. Not sure if I have all the parts I need. Hopefully I do. So let me just lay them out here and I'll show you. Yes. Yeah, this is going to be a cool build. So another special di Dynastorm together with my Nimrod racing one. I think this is going to be so awesome. Got another package delivered today. So let's just open it and have a look. This is, well, I think it's something cool that uh, showed up on eBay. And the main reason why I bought all of this, it's because I'll just hide them away <laughs> a little bit because I want to show you. So obvious, it's egress parts. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of used egress parts. There's like a, someone who made their own front temper tower, and we have a <laughs> well used motor mount, but we have a yeah, it's basically well used parts, egress parts. See, this one is cracked, but anyway, they probably come into use. But the reason I bought this was because of this. Look at this, how cool is that? It looks like some homemade steering. Is it upright? So, yeah, whatever. I thought they were pretty cool, so I just had to have this. So, yeah. So this is cool. Um, I'm gonna put it on the car. Nah, I don't think so. But I just wanted to have them in my parts box because of the it's homemade and. They look so cool. Okay, so there you have it. All the stuff I got in the mail since last time. Uh, if you like this and want to see what all these things become of, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done that already. If you have, thank you so much. It motivates me to keep on making more. And if you subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell to get an update when I post my next video. And until next time, just take care, have fun and stay safe.